ಭೋಯಂತು ವಿಶ್ವದ Prophylaxis, no history of excessive vomiting and otherwise uh, first time history was uneventful. Dating scan was not done. Uh, one interruption here madam. Uh, this woman gives a history of uh, uh, leak of uh, one week duration. Yes sir. Okay. At this duration of uh, pregnancy, what else it can be if it is not uh, uh, like her ammonia? White discharge. Huh? White discharge sir. White discharge. Yes. Then, what else? She's, she's, she gives history that uh, it started uh, one hour After uh, subsequent to a uh, coital activity. Uh, so, what else it can be? Yes, one is uh, white discharge. Agreed. What else? Can it be flower seminis? To begin with at least? Okay. What else? Correct. Go ahead, madam. Next. Next speaker. No, what? Uh, the question. Sir. Yes, anybody in the audience? Yes. Yes, floor seminis. Vaginal secretion. Yes. Next. Yes. Have you heard the word hydroria gravidarum? Hydroria gravidarum. Ah, what's, what's that? Periodic uh, watery discharge. From okay. Right. What else? Anything else? Some, some local? Cervical erosion. Yeah. Uh, the local pathology, independent of pregnancy. Yes. Then anything? Okay. By history alone, uh, can you make out it is more likely to be uh, like a amnia or least likely to be like a amnia? What else you ask in the history to make sure certainly that uh, it is mostly or most likely amniotic fluid? What are the characters? on the history? Uh, color, sir. Smell. Huh? Yes, color. Please. Color. What yes. will be the color? Pale white. So, Pale watery white. Uh, or you can say turbid discharge. white. It's a watery yeah. discharge. Uh, turbid white, watery turbid. discharge. Yes. Specific smell. It's the smell, smell is very specific. Huh? Some people say fishy. Uh, some people say uh, little pungent. Uh, unless it is uh, associated with local infection, it has its own peculiar uh, order. There are three smells in nostritics. 
one is the smell of liquor amniai the other one is the smell of the lokia and the third one is the smell of the breast milk which has inspissated inspissated over the nipple areola and the undergarment of the patient these are very specific once you enter the ward once you enter the labor room once you enter postnatal ward one should be adjusted to it or it is so specific similarly there is another smell peculiar to advanced ca survey that's uh, i mean that's a gynec event okay uh, right what i wanted to know is if you want to say it is more likely to be liquor it is more on standing position walking it increases coughing sneezing and increasing the intraabdominal pressure and uh, how you differentiate it is not urine not the stress stress urinary incontinence or any other it's not urinary leak it may the leak may be continuous uh, without any exertion even without exertion uh, there will be leakage See, of it doesn't uh, have a urinary smell uniferous it doesn't have uniferous smell it's independent of wiring activity and uh, on drying or over passage of time it doesn't it, it doesn't have that ammoniacal odor which is specific of uh, uh, urine uh, and uh, uh, if it is urinary on washing the urinary smell goes away whereas if it is liquor on washing it dilutes and you are spreading the smell and uh, urine is not sticky whereas liquor ammonia is sticky urine is clear this is turbid uh, urine tends to dry liquor ammonia does not tend to dry and if you take a drop of the fluid you can see crystallization of uh, if it is a liquor ammonia and you doesn't see crystallization you don't see and ph classically amniotic alkaline. fluid 7.2 to 7.6 alkaline alkaline yeah whereas the urine is slightly, slightly acidic yeah. then you do uh, creatinine and uh, uric acid in the urine the urinary levels of uh, creatinine and uric acid are different whereas uh, in liquor ammonia the levels of uh, creatinine and uric acids are different same thing will be the uh, question when you are uh, Uh, having a suspicious, suspicious fluid from a suspected case of uh, um, peritoneal fistula or lower urinary fistula. Uh, okay, uh, go ahead, madam. Anything you want to ask at this stage, uh, madam? So she, you told that uh, she came after seven days of leaking, isn't it? Why she came after seven days? Why not on the first day? Madam, ask what makes the patient wait. conservatively at home before seeking the madam, intervention actually, by the family doctor she is not even concerned about the draining pb now also madam uh. she went for the regular scan at 8 months advised by the local uh, obstetrician there they have given the scan as uh, afi 2 to 3 madam hmm. so they were referred to the gms tirupati in view of uh, severe oligos madam she is not even concerned and she didn't even complain uh, when uh, eliciting the history she told yeah at one night after the history of coitus there was a sudden bow for about uh, one night and that night then uh, during training i used to have that now so even to the practitioner she went only for a regular checkup not uh, Actually, for the complaint yes, not with the complaint of uh, training to you madam she went for the regular checkups only okay it was it was uh, detected and elicited by the caring physician not the patient herself yes sir. Uh, is it so yes sir yeah okay right it is involuntary uh, complaint yes sir uh, okay Uh, quickly yes did it Come confirm on. that it is amniotic fluid or draining confirmly yes, yes. have it confirm we examine at private clinic or at your hospital when you are examining the case at our hospital, at our hospital after one week yes ma'am when she uh, attended the gmh uh, here uh, she attended your after uh, undergoing undergoing scan she was referred here madam and after coming here uh, uh, draining was confirmed still after one week also still draining is there as ma'am here uh, there was yes, hmm? that is uh, confirmed by speculum examination yes, what else other confirmatory test uh, nitrogen paper test vaginal pool uh, vaginal pool secretion examination under microscope it is continuous draining from one week yes ma'am yes, ma what about ultrasound findings at the time at the time uh, uh, after admission to after admission 27 uh, weeks of gestation madam with afi, with AFI less AFI than 2 what the ultrasound findings madam has seen lines at that time right and fetus with breech presentation madam with 27 weeks of gestation with afi less than 2 and the placenta is for fundal grade to maturity madam 
with the fetal, fetal cardiac, cardiac activity was good no afi less than 2 less than 2 so it is continuous leak is there so it is confirmed that the patient is having continuous leaking from the one week okay what are the other what are the other methods of confirming that the fluid uh, the fluid you are uh, seeing uh, in on pore speculum is the uh, amniotic fluid only other ways other means of confirming uh, on microscopic examination or uh, slide uh, ferning pattern is seen okay, if okay ferning is, uh, on microscopy drying yes next nitrogen paper, paper test nitrogen, if it is yes. uh, like what will be the color what will be the change orange blue or uh, yellow uh, color is turned into deep blue, blue. okay any limitations of this test litmus test it bleeding or uh, uh, meconium or meconium local infections and douching bleeding. if the patient has recently douched or solutions. used any medications uh, that will be al that will alter okay uh, uh, have you heard the word uh, fetal fibronectin test yes, and sir. is it relevant here yes sir yes what it is and what is the sensitivity specificity sir sensitivity yeah what is the fetal fibronectin 93% Oh, what what is the fetal fibronectin and in what way it is relevant sir it, it is uh, present uh, between uh, the maternal and fetal components sir in uh, the fetal membranes and uh, decidua it acts as uh, adhesion sir adhesive okay. it is present uh, before 24 weeks of gestation and uh, again after 36 weeks of gestation uh, if it is preterm labor and in between it is not usually detected okay uh, now uh, once you confirm it is amniotic fluid only uh, are there any methods to seal Uh, this leak, if it is high, have you heard the word fibrin glue? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, what is, can you tell me what it is? Yeah, it's it's it a it, it's a material of uh, uh, biologic uh, origin. Uh, though we call it as a glue, it is just like a gel foam or sponge. Uh, it is applied uh, over the os, and uh, it is supposed to organize itself. like a clot and seal and it's supposed to enhance the local growth of fibroblasts over 2 to 6 hours and patient has to be uh, made uh, supine and kept there for at least 2 hours uh, the utility is uh, anywhere between 40 to 66% so this is specially used in interventional embryoscopy where we intentionally do a rupture of membrane past the fetoscope or embryoscope and uh, examine the intrauterine cavity and the fetus and uh, if needed we do interventional embryoscopic procedures and then it is withdrawn we know we have iatrogenically you have created a leak, leak but because done it is done under sterile pressure uh, sterile conditions under antibiotic cover and local fibrin seal most of them will seal if they don't seal we have options of recreating the amniotic fluid now are there any means and methods of recreating amniotic fluid amnio infusion can be amnio infusions one next yes giving uh, enlargenin so that uh, okay. it increases yes. production Anything? of liquor yes yes um. okay what are the sequelae if you if you allow the uh, liquor to drain continuously what are the sequelae to the fetus Co and complicate to the mother chorionitis Chorea omnionitis, infection. Chorea omnionitis. Yes, And one. Sepsis to the mother. Sepsis, ongoing sepsis. Yes, next. Uh, Abruptio placenta. Abruptio. Yes. Increased chance. Preterm delivery. Pre increased chance of uh, operative okay, delivery. Okay. Operative intervention. Next. Yes. Increase chance of postpartum hemorrhage. Yes. Subinvolution and uh, sepsis yes. in postpartum. Have you heard uh, fetal pulmonary hypoplasia? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Uh, what it is? Because Decreasing of reduced pulmonary cells. reduced pulmonary yeah. cells so i have heard the word amniotic band syndrome amniotic band, band syndrome yes what it is because of organization of fibrous uh, yeah. fibrous in, in tissue cases in of uh, clinical as well as occult present or past uh, uh, leaks where the amniotic fluid dries there is a thin flimsy adhesions are there around the fetal body maybe around the digits or limbs or neck so subsequently it organizes and become tight as the fetus grows they even amputate the Uh, digits limbs and at times it can cause multiple deformity amniotic band syndrome is a known entity since ages okay what shall be our aim of uh, presenting this case or uh, uh, having this presentation on the as a first case what is what is the lesson 
कैरी होम मैसेज proper intervention should be undertaken uh, 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 pregnant women should be uh, transferred to a uh, unit where there is a neonatal facility is available and uh, steroids are uh, steroids and antibiotics are given and uh, if pregnancy liquor is adequate and uh, draining seals of pregnancy can be continued or else uh, delivery should be planned pregnancy under antibiotic cover or terminate and why we will terminate sir we will terminate why you want Uh, the liker is uh, less than 2 and uh, the chances of continuation of pregnancy till term are uh, uh, less sir and what is the duration since when she is leaking 31 weeks 31 weeks 1 week there is a short one week man so so the chances of the chances of continuation of pregnancy are uh, less even so with the chances uh, of complications complications sir chan- chances of morbidity fetal as well as maternal are very high in case if she goes in for permanent co- choreomyelitis it can compromise her future obstetric uh, performance as well uh, now in this case uh, is there in relation between the coital activity and the leak or in what way that history becomes relevant what is the current consensus of about the coital activity in late pregnancy explanation indicated Wait. contraindicated relatively contraindicated relatively contraindicated it is it is relatively it is relatively contraindicated the documents show that the coital activity in late pregnancy 